According to the Safety in Baby Nappies report, a total of 23 different diaper samples were tested by researchers for toxic chemicals. A total of 60 different chemicals, such as glyphosate, dioxins, PCB 126, along with others, were found in the diapers. Committee will come to order. Committee will come to order. Committee will come to order. Good morning, and thank you for being here today. Any time we give our children or grandchildren's medicine, like this bottle of children's Tylenol that was included in the recall, we expect it to be safe, and we expect it to help the children get better, not create problems for them. When questions are raised about whether children's medicine is safe, parents need. Immediate answers. Almost every household in this country has these children's products in their medicine cabinets, and everyone has the same question this morning: Are these products safe? And what are we doing to ensure the safety and to make certain that this does not happen again? While we do we do not want to cause unnecessary alarm. We also cannot ignore the troubling fact before us. Less than a month ago, a Johnson and Johnson company known as McNeil Consumer Healthcare recalled over 40 variations of children's medicines, including such widely used products as children's Tylenol, children's Motrin, children's Benadryl, Tylenol, and infants' drops. This recall was carried out because of production problems at McNeil that affected the quality, purity, and potency of the medicine. McNeil received dozens of consumer complaints about foreign particles in children's medicine, which were later confirmed by McNeil. In addition, tests at the plant showed that three batches of infants' Tylenol were found to be super potent. Meaning that they contain an overdose of the active ingredient. Now, the FDA is currently investigating any possible links between the recall medicine and adverse health effects on children who took that medicine. The FDA is also currently reviewing reports of children who died to determine if there is any connection between those deaths and this recall. One document the committee received from the FDA refers to the case of a year and a half, one and a half year old girl who died. Just last night, the committee obtained from the FDA even more disturbing information. According to an FDA document, McNeil knew there was a potential problem with one of its Motrin products that was on the market in 2008. But rather than issue a recall, McNeil allegedly sent contractors out to the stores to buy the products back, and told the stores not to mention a recall. After the FDA confronted McNeil about this, McNeil officially enacted a recall on the affected products. If true, this phantom recall. Attempt by McNeil could have endangered the public, and it warrants further investigation by this committee. We need to know that health risks are associated with this recall. We need to know whether this is an isolated issue, or part of a widespread problem with the safety and production of children's medicine at McNeil. We need to know that Johnson and Johnson is doing、uh, to get to the bottom of this. And we need to know what the FDA is doing to ensure the safety of children's medicine. But Johnson and Johnson and the FDA will be asked very difficult questions today, and I hope they are prepared to give us the answers that will assure safety. We will follow this road until we have all the answers.